Welcome to a review of I can add and subtract integers. Remember that integers are our numbers, our positive numbers including 0, also their opposites. So it's this type, these types of numbers, whole numbers and their opposites. We're going to be looking at adding and subtracting them. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to look at is knowing that these chips, so say these um, filled in circles represent negative numbers and these non filled in represent positive numbers. If you were to think about if I gave you a dollar and then I took a dollar, we'd actually be at the same place of zero. A positive and negative cancel each other out. So if you notice that we have five negatives and we have eight positives, well, what's going to happen is one and negative one, those are going to cancel each other out. So if you see, if you say if I owe you 5 and then I give you 8, what's left over is that positive 3. Okay, so it's like we're putting together that negative 5 and 8. This pen's going a little crazy. Um, and that you take the sign, there were more positives than there were negatives. So obviously that positive is the leftover sign and there's a positive 3. Just a visual of how um, a positive and a negative cancel each other out. On a number line, to show you that same thing about doing a negative 5 plus 8, you could put in at 0, and we'd start at negative 5. So we'd go back 5, since negative numbers are to the left, positive numbers are to the right. We'd go back 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a negative 5 movement. From there, we're going to add 8. So we're going to go 8, and since it's a positive 8, and we're adding, we're going to be going to the right. So we're going to go to the right, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So where we end up at after we add 8 is we are at then a positive 3 on the number line. So again, another visual to help you see how addition works. Okay, some rules for addition and subtraction are as follows, and you're going to want to write these down and get them recorded and have them somewhere safe. So, the rules are, when the signs are the same, and this is for when you're adding, when you're adding, when the signs are the same, same signs, you're going to find the sum and keep the sign, okay? So, for example, if I said 2 plus 3, you'd say, well, Ms. Simmers, obviously that's 5. And if I said negative 1 plus 1, Maybe you owe me a dollar and you borrow another one. Now you owe me two. Notice a negative and a negative. You're getting more negative when you add them. So when there's different signs when you're adding, so if the signs are different, if you have a positive and a negative, you're going to keep the sign of the larger number, meaning the absolute value of that number, and you're going to find the different or find the difference of them. So if I said two plus a negative three. Well, 3 as an absolute value is a larger number, so there's more negatives than there are positives. So my sign would stay negative, and you'd subtract 2 away from 3, which is 1. So you're going to have a negative 1 remaining. If you wanted to use chips to show that, if you had a positive 1, 2, and then you had 3 negatives, 2 of those are going to cancel out, and you're left with that negative 1. Okay? So different signs keep the sign of the larger number, and then you'd subtract them, okay? Um, on the bottom, another review would be two negatives in a row. So this is thinking about subtraction a little bit more. Two negatives in a row, you're going to chop, chop. So, for example, if I said I have three and I'm going to take away that I owe four, then I'm going to chop, chop, and I end up with three plus four, which is a positive seven. When you're subtracting and you see just subtraction, so for example, negative 2 minus 6, you leave that front number alone, and subtraction is actually the same as adding the opposite, just like we did here. We added the opposite. We are going to add, instead of a positive 6, a negative 6. So then we follow our addition rules, and we have a negative plus a negative, which they're the same sign, so we stay negative. 2 plus 6 is still 8. Okay, a quick rundown of those rules. 
but they're very important, so make sure you write them down. So same signs, you're going to find the sum. Different signs, you're going to find the difference, keeping the sign of the larger one. If there's two negatives in a row, chop, chop, because subtraction is actually the same as adding the opposite. Very important. Some examples. Make sure you're pausing along the way or rewinding if you have to. So whenever you see problems, always ask yourselves, are the signs the same or different when it's addition? Okay, so when you see addition, are the signs the same or different? So I see negative 2 plus 4. The signs are different, so I need to take the sign of the larger one. So negative 2 and a positive 4. 4 is a larger number than 2, so I take the positive. My answer is going to be a positive number. How many more is 4, positive 4, than negative 2? Two? 2 of them cancel and you're left with a positive 2, which is really just 4 minus 2, which is 2. Okay, remember addition is the same as adding the opposite. Or subtraction is the same as adding the opposite, rather, and then they could be in reverse. 3 minus 7, so I see subtraction, so subtraction reminds me that I need to add the opposite. So now I use that addition rule. Are the signs the same or are they different? So now I see a positive and a negative. 7 is a larger number than 3 with its absolute value, so there are more negatives than positives, so my answer will be negative. 7 is how many more than 3? Subtract them and it's 4. So your answer would be a negative 4. Visually, we have positive 3, negative 7. The pairs are going to cancel, so 3 of them are going to cancel, and you are left with 4 negatives. This always helps me with these simple numbers, and you'll get a chance in class to use the counters to help you visualize that if you're still unsure. So a couple practice problems. Listen to my thinking and make sure you find what works for you. So up top here, again I decide same or different. Always a good question when you're seeing addition. Same or different. So different tends a larger number. There's more negatives than there are positives. So my answer will be negative. I ask myself how many more 10 is how many more than 3, which is 7, so I have an answer of a negative 7. Negative 12 minus 6. I owe, it's like I owe someone 12 and I borrow 6 more, so I'm really, what I'm doing is adding on to my debt, adding a negative. Now when I, after I add the opposite, I see that I have two negatives. The signs are the same, so I keep the sign. 12 plus 6 is 18. 5 minus negative 7, I'm going to add the opposite. Taking away a negative is a good thing. If you take away something bad, you have a better influence. You take away the amount of video games you're playing, you might add on time to study, which therefore is going to be better for you. You take away the amount of candy you eat, you have better teeth. Okay, so taking away a negative is actually adding a positive. So then we just have two positive numbers. Keep the sign staying positive. 5 plus 7 is 12. Remember, at any point you can pause, try them, and then come back and see how you're doing. I would suggest that now. So continuing on, negative 4 plus 9. Different signs. 9 is a larger absolute value than 4, so we keep our positive. How many more is 9 than 4? And it's 5 more. Over here, you can just subtract as normal, or you could say, add the opposite. 22 is a positive that's more. Keep our positive sign. And then we do 22 minus 18, which would be 4. Last one, negative 8 minus negative 2. Add the opposite. There are more negatives than positives, so our answer will be negative. 8 is... 6 more than 2 for a negative 6. Always remember, you could do, show your visual, I have 8 of these, 2 positives, if I cancel them, how many are left? Negative 6.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, rewatch if you need to. Uh, make sure you're taking good notes, writing down those key things. Addition and subtraction, the best thing is to practice and write down the rules and try to find a way to help you memorize those rules. And really, integers are a great thing to apply to real life. Um, they're all over the place, and we'll talk a little bit more in class. Make sure you bring your questions.